Hi. Hello. Hi, Claire. Hello. Welcome to Retire Fangirls podcast episode seven. Almost to the double digits. Welcome, guys. I'm Kaylee. I'm Megan. (laughs) And I'm Claire. Our first guest on the podcast. Claire is Megan's sister. I don't know if you want to talk about yourself a little bit. <laughs> Give us the rundown, Claire. Who are yeah. you? Oh, uh, you know, I am just a little lady, 26 years old. Um, I think Megan would want everyone to know that I just graduated from medical school on Thursday. So uh, come to me for medical advice only if you're under 21. I'm going to be a pediatrician oh. or if your family or uh I sent her photos of things all the time I'm like what is this rash on my arm and she's like you have hives you had an allergic reaction yeah um so that's how it goes Claire what is your relationship with the fan space and the fandom community um you know I been a big follower of pipxr.m for a long <laughs> time um <laughs> I've I've known about all of the like fan stuff that every like you guys have been doing, but now I'm recently rediscovering my love for reading because it's not for a grade anymore. So now I'm doing things like fan casting romance novels, which Megan is re-entering loving. her Tumblr 2014 era. Yes. Um, what is the series that made you love reading? Um be honest. Yeah, I feel like, well, my first like real only series, actually, I read a lot of standalones mostly, but I was a Harry Potter girly because I'm, I mean, I'm a cusper of millennials. So I feel like that's straight up HP era. Yeah, <laughs> valid. That's kind of what started it all, I think, for millennials. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that I am part of that club. I'm not diehard, you know, I don't watch all of the new ones. <laughs> it's fine. I will never buy a new Harry Potter book. I'll just yeah. keep all my old ones. But yeah. Valid. My sister also is kind of like she grew up loving Harry Potter. Like we would go to the midnight releases. She'd stay up reading it and everything. And now she's like, we hate JK Rowling. I can't play Hogwarts Legacy like legally. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, not supporting that. I have seen Fantastic Beasts, which are like, weren't they bad? They're, They're not good. Not really good. <laughs> I they like great the cast thing. though. Newt was so cute. I love Eddie, but the first one was the only one that was good. I watched the second one. And I was like, this stuff. I know. I wish it kind of just made it like a standalone thing. Like, I don't know why they had some, because I watched the most recent one with like, I don't even remember what it was about. Something about Dumbledore or some shit. <laughs> like John- Johnny Depp? It's yeah, Johnny Depp yeah. fired after all of the. Oh Andrew yeah. They recasted and- him. I think. They recasted him. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Ezra Miller's in it too. <laughs> yeah it's a little <laughs> problematic it's a little problematic a flash movie i know i saw the trailer when i was watching a movie and i was like oops apparently it's good i don't know if you just ignore how problematic they are it's fine if you're not from hawaii you know oh, yeah but yeah that's the tea so what books are you reading now claire <laughs> um I am I'm a romance girly I know like oh wow romance um no we love all readers no we love it all I had yes, a call reading is reading um, <laughs> yeah. so um I am due to start the newest book by Emily Henry who's like my favorite author so right now I'm just reading whatever Apple Books has for free and I just download those and then we go through those wait but Apple so Books has stuff? my backpack on like your iPad is that like what you're reading it on <laughs> yes my iPad issued by my medical school love that for you <laughs> yeah. just reading romance on there it's fine have you yeah. read Song of Achilles Keely Song of Achilles mm-hmm. I never finished it but like <laughs> I have it I did read like book lovers and people we met on vacation so I understand the Emily Henry girlies yes book lovers is my favorite book of probably all time just because I identify with Hot take. Nora. I mean, <laughs> I don't like great works of literature personally. Like I've read all of the <laughs> books. I'm like, no, I just want my little 
smut book and I'm all fine. No, literally though. <laughs> I had like a Colleen who's Hoover phase, like <laughs> shamefully. I mean, <laughs> it was bad. It's okay. It was, Everybody has those. Yeah. And it was just like so easy to read. Like I just read it and I was like, and also my first Colleen Hoover book was, oh God, it's so bad. It was, it ends with us, but like that one was like easy yeah. to read. And then yeah. I read, um, Verity that one was actually like yeah. like it's actually a little spooky Verity like I don't even know how to feel about the ending Have I you know no. you're never gonna read it no. spoiler alert hold on <laughs> spoiler alert I don't know when this book came out oh, but a while. Gonna- <laughs> yeah. no it just like the I didn't like that at the end she finds that letter and then Verity's like faking or did she just line I just like I wish they would have just left it. Yeah, people choose sides. They're like team letter, team manuscript, or like team whatever. I don't even, it's been so long since I read it. Yeah, yeah. But she like fakes being in a coma or vegetative state. (laughs) It's so bad. That's where, so me and my other medical school friends read it. And that's where we had to suspend disbelief because like, you can't just like fake MRI results. Yeah, right? You them all. (laughs) No, like you can see the stuff apparently on the MRI and then the radiologist read it, but like, well, I'm sorry that you can't commit to the bit hard enough to fake your I MRI. Could, I should, should not fake it. She probably, she went through, like she did it all. She was like, let me just use my little pen and I'll write on it. Get the MRI fixed. Do you know what it's about, Megan? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's basically like Verity is like, she's pretending to be like in this coma and then truth yes I think I think that's part of the book I think that's part of the book is her name means that yeah and she's a fucking faker yes sorry for the faker and then this girl comes in to like write her book or something oh yes she's an author a famous author does she have a ghost writer or is that's who the the girl coming in is going to be her ghost writer because no one knows she's in a vegetative state yeah so she's going to finish her books, but she falls in love. They don't know that. They don't know that. <laughs> she falls in love with the husband of the woman in the coma. And they like be fucking and stuff. And Verity's there. And Verity watches. She like watches and you're like. You know? She like will open the door and like watch them. It's it's honestly really creepy. I had to stop it at one point because my heart was beating too fast. I know. I like this feeling. I like stayed up till 1 a.m. and I finished and I was like. <laughs> like is she here like it's it's creepy it's terrifying oh yeah and she's in a vegetative state because um her daughter died yeah. but the whole manuscript is like the reason people are team manuscript versus letter the manuscript is talking about how much she fucking hates her husband and her ch- or she loves her husband hates her children and then she purposely kills one of her children is yeah what- is colleen yes. hoover yes. yeah I, this this is all tracking. Everything's falling into place. It's yeah. bizarre. I did not know how to feel about that one. Well, I'm gonna stick to my sci-fi. Yeah, it's a wild ride, yo. I just read a book that was a wild ride. It's like a light science fiction. Like there's a little bit of magic. It was called The Cartographers, mm-hmm. um, by Shepard is the last name. It's like a mystery. Her dad, she's like a cartographer. She wants to work for the New York Public Library. You're like, okay. Her okay. dad does work for the New York Public Library. And then he has a suspicious death. And the book is like her figuring that out. And he has this like old like roadmap in his um, desk. And she's like, why did he keep this? Um, it was very good. There's magic. If you've read Paper Towns, I think you'd like it because it does yeah. reference Aglo, New York. We stand. We love yeah love that we love a good suspicious mysterious death always a great plot device great way to kick off your book i probably mentioned this a while ago but i started reading the inheritance game it's kind of giving the same vibe did you read that trilogy i did not it's giving like it's like knives out like she inherits a bunch like a whole mansion and millions of dollars and then she's trying to figure out why but apparently it's really good and I never finished reading, but I will be doing that. <laughs> oh, no shame in that game. I'm the queen of not finishing series. Yeah. You read one lightning thief and that's it. Really? You never yeah. finished? I was the OG lightning thief fan. You were not a fan. 
No one liked it. I did the project on it. I think you were required to. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big book. A spoon fell. Um, I just bought the oh. Sun and Star. Um, and? but I haven't read all of the Trials of Apollo, so I don't know if I have to read that before this one. What is this um, one about? <laughs> it's um Will and Nico in Tartarus. Oh. Why are they in Tartarus? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. I haven't read it yet. That's just, I don't get to find out. Okay. I might have to Google what happens in Trials of Apollo. Give me your best Trials of Apollo summary in the comments below because I do not like Apollo's narrator. I couldn't get through it. I don't remember a single thing about that book. The other main the character is a teenager. Meg. That's what I remember. Yeah, Meg was there. She was like a little girl. Mm hmm. Apollo was banished to Earth. He's not a god for this one, I think. Yeah, he's like a teenager with acne. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're on the same page. I do know. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Jason dies and Piper is by. That's what. That's all that I know that happens. Oh yeah, I remember Jason dying. Oh, you read that far? Yeah, I read like two books at least. He dies in the second. I thought I read the second. Maybe I didn't. How many are there? <laughs> We're such bad fans. I don't even know how many Trials of Polo books there are. There are five. There are five of all of them. I know. He's on that grind. There's, there's five, five in the original series. Yeah. I'm finding out for the first time. And five in the original, five, five in the next one, five in Trials of Polo. And now I, this and number yeah. six, Percy and the Chalice, whatever, college okay, book. Okay, yeah. That's coming out. How much is in Magnus Chase? Because Magnus Chase is like a spinoff. Because Magnus is Annabeth's cousin. Yes. But that one's the Norse gods. And I can't in read a book that says Thor in it. I think I'll giggle. Oh, valid. That one's decent. You'll laugh if you Thor. If I'm supposed to take Thor seriously as a god, I'm not going to because I've only watched Ragnarok and Love and Thunder. Oh, because, okay, okay. Yeah. So you didn't watch the more serious first two films? Oh, that makes sense. I heard Thor the Dark World is one of the worst things that Marvel ever it's did. It's not awesome. It's not, but... People don't like it. Do you like it, Kaylee? I don't even remember anything about that movie. <laughs> I didn't even like, I like Thor. I skipped right to Ragnarok and I said, okay. Ragnarok I is so good. You. I watched yeah. the Avengers with him in it, and then I watched Ragnarok and Love and Thunder. Have y'all watched Guardi the new Guardians of the Galaxy? Not oh, no. yet. When did that come out? Like, two like last week. Yeah. Oh, I've been on vacation for a month, so I haven't had time. It's perfect time to see a movie. It was Vic good. On vacation. It was good, but I'm not like a big Guardians girl. Like, I didn't grow. I think it's Chris Pratt. I literally think it's Chris Pratt is the reason I don't vibe with it. Because otherwise I would love it, I think, because it's so much like Star Wars. Like, but I, yeah, I've been, I like watched Guardians 1 and 2 and then the holiday special before I watched Guardians 3. And it was emotional, uh, but there is like animal torture in it. Just, There's a holiday special? Yeah, they just came out with it. I mean, like in Christmas. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Kevin Bacon is in it. <laughs> He's like the main character <laughs> for some okay. reason. Like as himself, that feels unnecessary. Yeah, it feels fun. It's it's a journey. It's like a Shrek Christmas special. Yeah, and they like things. It's like a whole thing. Christmas special. Oh lord. But okay. yeah, who are the your Chris's in order? I think uh, we we did this on the first step, but you? we'll do it again. Do it for um, me. Pine. What's his name? Evan. Captain America. Evan. Evan. Hemsworth, Hemsworth Pratt. Pratt. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to Chris Evans. I know I said that you were just a guy in the last one. Um, that still stands, but you're number two. He's a handsome man. It's just like the nostalgia and like the love for Chris Pine. Those baby blues. Oh, that's what we were talking about in the line for med school graduation. We were walking past with doing the Princess Mia princess Aww. from the second movie. Just like walking, having our own moment. Uh, speaking of Anne Hathaway, I watched the Met Gala live stream, which she slayed. Uh, she slayed, but the like hosts were really awkward. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know if y'all watch. Did you watch? Okay. I just watched the recap. I watched Emma yeah. Chamberlain, but yeah. She's well, they're 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 these hosts, and they were like so awkward. 
And then like towards the end, they were like, guys, stay tuned because there's a big guest coming. And they kept like, you could tell they were like, they kept stalling and stuff. And then it just cuts and they're like, sorry, guys, the big guest is not coming anymore. We're going to end the live stream. <laughs> and it just like ends. I think it was supposed to be Rihanna, but she came late. Oh and yeah, it was just awkward. And then immediately after, my friends and I watched Ocean's Eight just to like celebrate. Slay. Yeah, and I was like, "Slay." Who was your uh, favorite outfit and your least favorite outfit? Um, I liked Anne Hathaway's. Obviously, wait. Let's. I need to pull this up. I liked Jenna Ortega too. She. I liked great. hers. Tom Brown. Tom Brown, immediate winner. All of his designs were incredible. Um styling jared hands. leto what the hell oh, was that? i don't even <laughs> okay See, so they came late Rihanna is my favorite i just her and rock like i love it she came late but like yeah slay i guess i like hers i guess jenna ortega i love this look pedro my man oh with the knee his knee the leg, leg. Kaylee, did you see Pedro Pascal accepting his MTV Golden Popcorn for him and Bella? No, I didn't. Oh my God. It was so funny. He's holding them. He's holding two of them like this. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, Bella, if you want your popcorn, you have to come see me because I love you and I miss you. I am you. You are me. We are we. Like he's clearly just spitting shit out. I know. Oh, I saw like a gif. Oh my God. <laughs> I fucking love him. It was so funny. I uh, don't care about her. No offense. Oh, you know who else slayed is oh. Gi- Giselle post Tom Brady divorce. Course, it's Giselle. Mm, she's yeah, but she has a new glow. She looked incredible. Doja Cat did Cat. interviews just meowing was hilarious. I know. He People always... calling her rude. Oh, I didn't even see Lil Nas. I did. I liked hers. It was okay. I liked Aubrey Plaza's. I just like Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Bad Bad Bunny with the whole train. Like show the back. How dare they not show that weird back? (laughs) Jacket. Oh, I liked Billy's. Uh, was not a big fan of Tom Brown. I think that they dropped the ball in the hair. What is going on there? It's like in the back. The lack of like necklace too. Like she never wears a necklace. No one wears necklaces in Hollywood right now. Bradley Cooper boo. In the okay, what I don't. I mean, I get it because of the sunglasses and like yeah. I love Pete Davis. I could not even recognize Cara Delevingne when she came out. Lizzo Slay. Oh, Nicole Kidman. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is like a reference to an old look of hers, which is kind of cool. I think she should have come in a pinstripe pantsuit, you know? Yeah. Her break feels good in a place like the Met Gala. Oh. Margot, beautiful as ever. Loved Dua Lipa's. Oh, oh Chanel oh. Bride. Yeah. Where's the hat? Love yeah, I want the hat. I want the hat. Yeah, I love the dress though. It is. It's good. Who is this? Oh, Emily Radkowski. I didn't even see them. She's oh, there. Wait, go back up to Mindy Keeling. Uh, look at her face. Why did they pick this pick? I don't yeah, know why. They, they constantly do them dirty. They're clearly fixing her dress so she was not prepared. <laughs> yeah, right? This is like Vogue.com. Classic. Oh my god, Emily in Paris AF. Oh. The back of her train says Oh, it says Carl. Oh yeah. Awful. It ruined it. Bean, my mother. Oh. Oh, oh I don't know who that lady is. <laughs> okay, Queen of the World, Naomi Campbell. Didn't he like not like pink though? No, it was a lie. People just wanted to feel better about people wearing pink. It was oh. his favorite color, I thought. No, he just said that to be subversive. He just be saying shit. I like I the like second it. looks better. Personally. I like that from the shoulders up. I haven't seen yeah. the bottom. Well, it's like frayed too. I don't know. I just thought it could have been better. Uh Kiki Slay. Love Kiki. Um, yeah. <laughs> Get an outfit change? Yeah, you didn't see it? No. Uh, All I saw was the cat. The eyeshadow? I okay. don't hate it. I don't like him. Her? Yeah. She was doing it. She was wearing that. Oh. Oh, she had an outfit change, like, on the red carpet. Who are all the rest of these people? Okay, there's too much. Clarence. Clarence. What did she wear? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. She was bald. Miss Bald Girl. Oh, yes, for her role or whatever she's doing now. 
That was the Met Gala. That was the Met Gala. What'd y'all do this weekend? We went to a Queen 92 concert and then we oh. saw Chicago. Love Chicago. Mm-hmm. That was like, I mean, I've told Megan this before, but I watched that movie so much as a child, which I probably, sh- I mean, I should not have been watching that as a child, but I loved it. <laughs> there was a child in the front row of our show, just like sitting there. Yeah. Uh, it's my. I mean, it could be worse, I think. (laughs) Yeah, it could be Moulin Rouge. Yeah, that's true. You've only seen the movie. You haven't seen the Broadway show. I have. I've seen the Broadway show in Boston and New York. Did you like the Broadway show? Yeah, we kind of talked about this. Okay. But yeah, I I liked it. Okay. But I love Moulin Rouge. I love anything Moulin Rouge. And I love Aaron Tibet. Oh, you saw it with Aaron. I didn't see him. I saw some of the randos. I, I saw him twice and they like ch- so we saw them I think before they was like on Broadway it was like one of those where they were like mm-hmm. touring so I watched yeah. that in Boston and I really liked the, that one and then I think they changed a few things like when it was finally on Broadway in, in New York and I was kind of like meh but still good I still love Moulin Rouge I binged uh, Ted, Ted Lasso like I'm on like almost done Your with Apple it. TV grind it's so good it's really really good like I know I said I couldn't take it seriously but <laughs> it's really good I'm obsessed um I finished jury duty since we're uh, oh about. yeah yeah now I get all the things you were talking about <laughs> <laughs> the bug's life bug's life it was literally so killer it was like ugh, why was he such he's America's sweetheart now <laughs> no he has a girlfriend I know that yeah, was rude that's so rude, Ronald. Sorry. <laughs> I don't love you anymore, Ronald. <laughs> Sorry, Ronald. But I was like low key emotional at the at the last season. I was like, can you imagine like spending seventeen days with these people and then finding out it's all not real? <laughs> they did feel like court proceedings. Like he sat there and listened to boring shit for like days. <laughs> like, how are you not traumatized? I would like have trust issues forever I bet he like he should really watch the Truman show now and just like yeah. relate to Jim Carrey on a new level I would be scared like is there a camera around me right now I'm always scared. I watched it and I was like oh my god is there a camera around me right now what is real <laughs> yeah um I rewatched Pitch Perfect my too. dad loves Pitch Perfect I've seen Pitch Perfect like 50 times no joke <laughs> it gets just me just one not two is there a third there is a third there is a third i watched it in theaters it was not the rest are not good was that the one where they were on a boat and they sing toxic is that three i don't remember i know so the second one is when Haley steinfeld comes and she starts singing her original songs and then like the third one is like kind of a reunion like later down the line and the third one is the one I'm thinking of they do yeah. have a scene on a boat where they sing yeah. talks while someone else breaks into the captain's quarters of the boat okay well yeah there's like water there's like a creek I remember that <laughs> they're in like Europe aren't they that was for the second one I think the second one they go to like a retreat yeah. and at one point um Adam Demi he's just like singing to rebel wilson paddling down the river yeah for minutes it takes so long it's giving um dominic fike in the season finale of euphoria please please stop (laughs) that was so long for no reason what there's also like so many singing scenes in ted lasso where like the main lady I don't know if you've like seen what she looks like but she's like just boss ass bitch right and then they just give her like these long ass singing like scenes <laughs> like she sang let it go for like five minutes that song is two and a half minutes long <laughs> okay but it felt really long <laughs> and then she sings like never gonna give you up at her father's funeral sorry spoilers but anyone yeah I don't know if she rick rolls her dad's entire funeral I don't I there's like I don't know yeah it's silly okay okay yeah. so the rest of the show I really am enjoying <laughs> I just I can't with like unnecessary singing scenes <laughs> you don't love a musical it's not a random Riverdale musical episode exactly yeah, 
I stan them so they're always so funny. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Oh, but yeah, that's what I've been watching. What about y'all? You see anything good lately? No, no. I've just been like reading or traveling. I haven't really had time to like watch. Oh yeah. You went to we went Washington, to- DC. You went to DC? Yeah, I went to see my friend in DC. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, I saw that. Mm-hmm. I looked at it was good. I'd never been to a winery before, so that was like very fun and just pretty. Um, yeah. we were gonna go just get a flight and then go somewhere else, and then we ended up staying the whole day because it was beautiful outside. Love that. Mm-hmm. Where else did you go? Was that it? I went to Ohio. Mm-hmm. It was Ohio. She had so much fun. We were on a rooftop, Kaylee, and it mm-hmm. overlooks the beautiful scenic highway. Eight lane. Oh, I love. <laughs> right isn't that just where you want to spend more money on drinks to get that view of course yeah <laughs> yeah why did I... you choose go to going to school in ohio why yeah um it was the best school i got into which if you ask a lot of people in medical school that's going to be that either yeah. that or they got a good scholarship those are the two answers valid valid did you like it at least though oh yeah i really like it i mean i'm hanging out for a little while longer so that was oh, you're staying there Yeah, I'm staying. Yeah, well, medicine tends to not give you a lot of choices in the matter, whether it's where your job is or anything. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately. Yeah, I remember when my friend was like applying to his residency, he like really wanted to go to Boston and he ended up here, thank God. But like his other friends ended up in like Kansas, like middle of nowhere because they got matched to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ooh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's the worst part like my two best friends one of them's going to North Carolina and the other one's going to Michigan so mm. have a day where we just sob profusely and then yeah. just leave each other which is sad sad Megan do you miss being in school because like I low-key miss being in school but like I miss certain parts of it. Um, I don't really want to pay to go back. So I'm yeah. waiting until I'm at a company who will pay for it. But then I'll probably get my master's or probably go fuck around. Yeah, I would do it. What would you do? What would you study? Um, I mean, I'd probably get my MBA, but there are one plus one programs where I could get my MBA and my MFA in literature. Ooh. And then I'm qualified to teach high school literature. So if I ever wanted a career change. That could be a moment. I could definitely see that. Yeah. And you know, if they paid teachers, it's probably what I do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Sad. Oh, sigh. Super sad. Especially when your mother's a teacher. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> we she love teaches middle school now. Isn't she so brave? Queen. She's dealing with all those hormones. I know. I I, I mean, I've worked with middle schoolers like m- most of my life and I, I can't they only just do it. Sting. Yeah. I can only do it for like a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could handle the stench. Whether it was BO or Axe body spray, like pick your poison. I would pick neither. Yeah, not the Axe body spray. It's uh, like a bomb they throw off in the locker room. The guys, yeah. yeah. Trying to smoke everybody know. out. Literally. <laughs> the girls smell like Bath and Body Works. <laughs> yeah. Victoria's Secret. We had the Victoria's Secret, like, it had some, like, risque name. Oh, yeah perfume i feel like it was a lot of like warm vanilla sugar um or like japanese cherry blossom yeah japanese cherry blossom the sweet pea oh Oh, i know he was big she's a classic twilight woods so twilight woods wasn't that big that was just my scent yeah it was and we had the soap and we had everything and the spray yeah you have to and the plastic you have to have it all (laughs) I was I committed that. to the Japanese cherry blossom personally, <laughs> but my friends are like really into perfumes and I feel like that's such like a grown, grown woman thing. And I like, don't understand it. Are you guys like into perfumes? I tried to get into perfume and then I was punished by the universe. Um, oh, yeah. That's when she got her allergic reaction. Yeah, I bought a new Versace perfume and I sprayed it and I woke up the next morning at all body highs. No. And- when I wrapped it to give it to my mom and my sister for Christmas, my throat started to close. So I don't think I can be a perfume girly considering I can't even walk through that section of Macy's anymore. No. What what was in it that made 
Do you know? I, I didn't do an allergy panel, so I have no idea. Have but I'm just gonna avoid Versace. I'm fine with Marc Jacobs. I wear Daisy and Perfect. Okay. Classic. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna swatch test the Tiffany perfume, and then instead of having like Chanel number no. five on my vanity as like the pretty, if the Tiffany doesn't make me break out, that's probably what I'd have. Okay. Yeah. I am I not a perfume girly. Not but I did, um the panel for Bath and Body Works back home. I like got to go in and be a focus group and got to like look at all of their designs for the Christmas season and tell them my opinions. <laughs> Love. I am a wax melt girly. That's my scent of choice. Um, right now I have hazel in my wax melt by <laughs> webofwonder.co. It smells like Hangle, hazel levesque from the Heroes of Olympus series by now. Speaking of Ren, have you seen her blow up? I'm so excited for, and I want those pants to be done. I'm like, I'm ready to see the finished product. Um, Our friend, Ren, Lauren, she runs like a fan shop and makes like merch and she's going to the heiress tour. And she has this pair of white jeans that she's designing little things for every era. And she's doing like a rainbow up the jeans and she blew up on TikTok for making it. Yeah, her first video got like 6 million views or something like that. So everyone's just like following along on her journey of making these pants. And I'm I'm so here for it. If you like the designs, they are available on totes, cups, and t-shirts. Buy now, webofwonder.co. Ryan, I love you. Web of Wonder. Not sponsored. <laughs> not description. We like promote her literally every video. <laughs> One but, of her videos back on the channel was um, an unboxing when she sent me a Christmas present or something. Oh, yeah. I have the wax melts she made. She sent us all like Percy Jackson wax melts. Mm -hmm. I have not opened it yet because I don't want to melt it. This is the first one that I started melting and I was like, I got to bite the bullet because it's a disservice for them to just sit in my drawer. <laughs> I know I need to just like do it, but I'm, I'm scared of wasting no, things. You don't have the scent anymore. I mean, you could, we could always buy more. At web of wonder .co order <laughs> At web of wonder <laughs> Speaking of, I have a new Eras Tour outfit idea from the what last. What is it? So should I surprise the people and just tell you? I don't know. But Yeah, surprise the people and just okay. tell me. I'm cutting this off. Sorry, guys. You won't get to know. Yeah, you guys stay tuned. Down below. Description down below. Okay. <laughs> we have <laughs> six minutes left. I don't know if you guys had anything else to talk about um I don't think I do I think we went through our list sometimes we make a list of what we talk about and sometimes yeah, I'm looking at my I'm list like, yeah how long are you in New York for Claire I leave tomorrow <gasps> no are you guys like close it seems like you guys are close <laughs> we uh wanted to murder each other when we were kids for yeah sure. but it's also now it's better now it's better <laughs> I feel like that's how every sibling is. Yeah. <laughs> With space, it's better when like um we aren't actively like I'm not chewing yeah. or she can hear me or she's yeah. not stealing my shit. <laughs> that I kind of steal stuff. it. Mom put it in my room. Oh. <laughs> like, like, me, she, if she got mad at us, me or Gordy, she would hide our things in our own room. <laughs> and then listen to us frantically looking for stuff and know that she did that. We love the chaotic middle child energy because <laughs> that's me also. <laughs> you guys do not look alike though. I don't it's think so. it's, it throws it's everyone the, off. Yeah. The, but the face, even the face. In the same nose. Your face, I think, might be wider because you had the expander. Yeah, maybe. Or <laughs> just way more and then that's what happens. I think I saw a picture of of y'all and you're you look more like your brother megan looks more like the brother i think or the bro yeah <laughs> the brother gordy the opinion with every person who looks at a photo of us because i have like this photo of us all yeah uh, at a wedding and my friend aaron just looked at it and she's like oh my gosh you look just like your sister but your brother doesn't look like you guys really yeah we face swapped me and gordy and you couldn't tell <laughs> yeah i can see it but are you naturally like is that your natural hair color there? Yeah. No, well, she it's dyed like it. okay. The bottom is now blonder, but like all of 
the orange is no pretty. don't trust her she has naturally brown hair like me she just spends thousands of dollars yes. to make it ginger i dye my like eyebrows aunt Juanita, not to call her aunt Juanita. <laughs> i bleach my eyelashes it's All like of- strawberry blonde now or is that just like my mm-hmm. lighting okay no that's what she says when she was little someone would call her a redhead and she would go it's strawberry blonde yeah valid <laughs> i mean get it right if you're gonna say it like <laughs> true orange is an acceptable answer red is not okay yeah i understand <laughs> well we've got three minutes left and i've worked today sadly Ooh. it was nice meeting you and nice meeting you. Yeah, have fun congratulations again Thank you. Everyone say congrats. <laughs> say congrats down below. Share this with your friend as a congratulation to Claire. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Oh dear. And stay tuned for our next episode. Stay soon. tuned for the reveal of our Eras Tour outfit. Ah, yes. Yeah. Very oh my gosh, that's like happening soon. I'm so Highly excited. anticipated more than the Met Gala. Truly. Really yes. Megan wearing. So true. So true. All right. Bye, Bye y'all. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>